do what it is, it's your boy Schefter, a.k.a. Drunk Wizard, a.k.a. Mr. Know-It-All, a.k.a. Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. We're back! It's been so long since we made a video, but we're back! Uh, NBA playoff predictions. This should be a lot of fun. We got our gin and juice. I'm saving the Hennessy. Uh, end of the month stream uh, that we're going to do live on Facebook. We're going to open a box of National Treasures to celebrate all your guys' support and to say thank you guys so much for everything. So that'll be a lot of fun. Let's take a shot and then let's get right into it. Nice little shot of 1800. Whoa. That shit almost fell. Not going to lie. Work on the lighting in future videos. A light bulb just went out in the office like 10 minutes ago. Obviously, no time to change it. So, what can you do? Yeah, that hurt. All right, fuck it. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with the Western Conference. We're going to start off with the Western Conference. We got Lakers in Portland. Portland, just every game in the bubble was a playoff game for Portland. And they had to fight fucking viciously and ferociously against the Grizz to get that first win. But... What you got to keep in mind is now with the bubble, there's no travel. Guys are better rested. Guys have more energy. So I don't think it'll affect them this much as it would in another year. Uh, the Lakers, I'm not. It's it's always so hard because you got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Averaging three quarters uh, in the fourth quarter. What are you getting out of Kuz? But I feel like we can't get too carried away. Uh, because of LeBron James, obviously, I'm going to go Lakers in six. Keep in mind, McCollum has a horrible back issue. This could go seven, but with McCollum's back issue, I really see it going five or six. I decided to go six. Rockets in Oklahoma City. Now, this is where the plot thickens, because the Rockets could, could be without James Harden for the whole goddamn first round. Now, he's expected to miss at least the first couple games, at least. Now, no telling how bad it gets after that. I just... Another thing in these playoffs that's so difficult is because there's really no home court advantage. So... Everyone's on even footing, you know? I feel like I'm taking Oklahoma City in seven. People are going to think I'm crazy. I'm taking Oklahoma City in seven. I just I just like their depth a little more. Uh, they have people that are over six feet six. And, and no, no Westbrook for a couple games. It's just too much for Harden. It's entirely too much for Harden all by himself. No Clint Capella this time, obviously, because they traded him. So I just think it's too much for Harden to overcome. I got the Rockets going down in seven games. Nugs and Jazz will be an interesting series. Uh, now, keep in mind, just because I'm shooting this video today and I watched the playoff games yesterday, nothing has changed in my opinions. Not a single thing has changed, so keep that into account. I think there's going to be an interesting series. I really, really do. But... <sighs> They're really just a layup. Whoever wins this round is a layup for the Clippers. Right? So... But... <sighs> I'm going to go... I got to go with Nuggets in six. 
I gotta go with Nuggets in six. I just I just trust them more. We don't really know what's going on with Conley yet. I mean, I just trust them more. Uh, I love Spider Mitchell. I love what the Jazz are doing. It's just not gonna be enough. It's just not gonna be enough. The Nuggets are a really good, young, thriving team. There you go, Levi. Always saying I'm hating and shit, and I gave your team props. I mean, might be having like 1,800 favorite teams, too. Which brings us to Clips and Mavs. <laughs> the Mavs who were like 2-13 and 13, uh, in fucking closeout games. Uh, yeah, no, nah, man. This, this will be the easiest series of any series in the Western Conference final, in the Western Conference. Clippers just have too much depth, too much firepower, too much smarts. Like, they played around, they play around a lot, and I, I don't necessarily like that, because I think the Lakers do that a lot, too. But, when it's time to screw down and lock, uh, lock up the hatches, those motherfuckers be going in. They go in, they go in. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the clips in five. I'm gonna take the clips in five. Shots for the clips in five. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I'm a little buzzed, so I could be. If I'm not mistaken, that brings us to Lakers in Oklahoma City, which I have my doubt about the Lakers health-wise, player-wise. They're just missing so much. I, if you're a Lakers fan, smart Lakers fans are nervous right now. As they should be. But I can't... Lakers in five. Like... I just don't see what Oklahoma... Like... I just don't see what they can do to push this to six or seven games. I gotta go with the Lakers in five. Oh, but you're a Lakers hater. Man, 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 man. Look at the fucking Lakers hater. Oh, crazy. You hate my Lakers. Oh, grumpy Ernie. Fuckers. <laughs> Which brings us to Lakers and Clippers. In the Western Conference Finals. Lakers and Clippers. Clippers defensively better. Offensively better. Um, have four to five players on their team. that can score 20 points any given night. Better head coach. I mean, yo, yo, hell no, yo, what are we doing, you know, uh, arr, arr. so, uh, yo, fuck that shit, Clippers, and, six, Clippers is six, six, write it down, tell your mom, tell your grandmas, I don't give a fuck, Clippers, and motherfucking six, Clippers is six, alright, let's move on to the East Coast, Bucks and Magic, The Magic won today. That don't change a goddamn thing. It's the only win they'll get in the series. Bucks over Magic in five, period. The Eastern Conference is, is pretty simple. The first round of all the of Eastern and Western Conference is pretty simple. So give me the Bucks in five, easy. Bucks win the next four and just get that shit over with. Pacers and Heat, uh, heated rivalry. I fucking love Jimmy Butler so much, man. The Heat are the most interesting team in the playoffs for me. Uh, I think the combination of Jimmy Butler, their shooters, their talent. I mean, Bam Adebayo, they, they just got, they got killers on that team. And I think they cruise, and I mean cruise, past the Pacers. Five games. Pacers get one game. Celtics and Bucks. Uh, the loss of Gordon Hayward doesn't matter. He was going to have to leave the bubble anyway because of the birth of his child and then come back. So that's not even really that big of a deal. Like, first round wise, at least. I just, Philly just doesn't have enough. 
They're so fucking discombobulated. They can't get right. Simmons is always hurt. At some point in the first round, don't you feel like Embiid is going to get hurt too? So, it's one of those things where... Hey, I, yeah. Yo, 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 it's not good. It's not good. So, definitely, 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 definitely. I'm taking, I'm taking Boston in seven. I think, now, it probably goes six. It probably goes six. It probably goes six. But, I'm going to take Boston in seven. Because I feel safest that way. But I think it does probably go six. I'm going in seven, though. I just don't think Philly in the long run has enough. I just don't. Even with the loss of Hayward. Which brings us to Toronto and the Nets. We have our first sweep in the whole first round. The Nets won't win a fucking game. The Nets will not win a fucking game. I'm not... I know I'm not the only motherfucker surprised by what the Raptors are doing this year. I, like, it's it's not it's not feasible that I'm the only one that's surprised by what they've been able to pull off this year. It's amazing. Pascal Siakam is on his way to be a superstar. Yeah, I said superstar. On his way. Still needs time, but he's on his way. So... I just, it's the first sweep of the playoffs. First sweep of the playoffs. I really think it'll be the only sweep of the playoffs. Is Toronto and Nets. And look, the Nets play really hard. I'm not taking nothing away from the Nets. I do think the Nets are going to be a tragedy uh, next year. Because Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are fucking nutcases. And Kyrie is a fucking disaster waiting to happen. And he plays fucking eight games a year. And, oh, and he's a fucking piece of shit basketball-wise. Basketball-wise, not real life-wise. Just basketball-wise. All right, which brings us to the second round. Bucks and Heat. Bucks and Heat. Y'all ready to get weird? Are y'all ready? Yo, let's get weird. Bucks and Heat. I will say this. The Heat, I think, personally, have the size to hang with the Bucks. And while Giannis is still an evolving player and is most likely going to be the MVP, the odds of... I, <laughs> Yo, I'm just telling you. It's your boy Jay. There's some unlikely shit going on right here. My biggest worry about the Heat is their youth. That's the only thing that's going to fuck up my predictions. But Jimmy Butler seems to have a really good reign on that. A really, really, really good reign on that. So, I dig that. I'm just going to I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it Heat in 7. Heat in 7. I said it. I said it. I meant it. Tell your friends. Tell your grandmas. Tell your babysitters. He is seven, motherfuckers. He is seven. Which brings us to Boston and Toronto, which I think is actually a layup for Toronto. Uh, at this point, I do not think Gordon Hayward will be back. Uh, yo, give me the Raptors in five. Give me the Raptors in five. I know everyone's going to think of being too aggressive with the Raptors, but... Uh, you look at their plus minus, you look at their defensive rating, you look at what they're doing, man, and all the small shit they're doing, they do it really well. They do it extremely well. Very well coached. Very well coached. Nick Nurse, top three coach in the league right now? I don't think that's crazy. Which brings us to the Heat and the Raptors. Eastern Conference Finals. Heat and Raptors. Hmm. Me no saw John John Binks, Annie. Me no know what happened next. Well, let's see. You know how I talked about previously how I, the only thing that I think can hold the heat back is their youth and their younger players and experience. I think Jimmy Butler overrides that. Always love me some white side. 
uh, and Dragic. They got a great young core. I mean, just a really, really, really good core. It'll be exciting to do what they what they. It'd be exciting to see what they do in the offseason. So, got the Heat and the Raptors. Guess what? Ernie's doing it. He's pulling the plug. He's getting weird in this bitch. Let's get weird. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah. The Macho Man Randy Savage says he thinks it's time to get a little bit weird. Yeah. I just want to get a little bit weird. Nothing too crazy, brother. No, no. Heat and six. Heat are going to the finals. Miami Heat! Let's take shots from the Heat going to the finals! When y'all when this shit happens, y'all be like, God damn it, Ernie, this Ernie guy's a fucking genius. How the fuck did he call this shit? Mostly because I'm a motherfucking genius, aka Mr. Know It All. Shots for me being a genius and shit. Which brings us to Clippers Heat Finals. Clippers versus Heat Finals. The finals that no one expected because no one expects the Heat to be in the finals. Ernie's just a really smart person. Now, does Ernie keep the crazy train going? Do the Heat win the finals? Or do the Clippers? I've been riding hard for the Clippers all year. I love their team. I love their depth. I love their coaching. I love their defense. Uh, their rebounding, their tenacity, vocabulary word, tenacity. I love all of it. I absolutely love all of it. So sadly, this is probably where the heat gets stopped. Oh shit! Don't forget to like, yo, super chat, assholes, PayPal. Fucking keep this shit afloat. We're doing a box on opening of national treasures. Last Saturday of this month is a, is a thank you to you guys. Watch the fucking videos, assholes. That's how I make a lot of my revenue now. Watch the fucking videos. Big ups to Tom. Probably the biggest super chatter of the month. Big ups to a couple other people who've been doing things behind the scenes. John. A couple other people. People really been stepping up, man. Tigo. James, Greg, Joey. So, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. But we still need all the help we can get. We're still got like two and a half, two and a half months left in the fucking clank, man. But you know we're going to get through it, man. With y'all support, we're going to get through it. I'm taking the Clippers in six. I'm, I'm taking the Clippers in six. Like, how can I not take the Clippers in six? Six might even be... Aggressive, it could be the Clippers in five, but I'm gonna go with six. I'm gonna go with, I just now keep in mind all these predictions are barring like, like if LeBron James fucking explodes and internally combusts, like you can't hold that against me. Like, if someone fucking his leg falls off, you can't hold that against me. This is obviously assuming mostly health, so. There we have it. There we have it. Clippers are winning the finals, motherfuckers, over the Miami Heat. I was going to drop this tonight, but I decided since it turned out to be so long, I'm just going to live premiere this bitch. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, which will be today when you're seeing it. Let's do uh, one more shot for the stream. Motherfuckers. Also, we got some really cool shit coming in, man. Whole bunch of cool shit coming in. National Treasures, Immaculate, Mystery Football Boxes, uh, all kinds of shit. Uh, mini helmets, jerseys. We got all kinds of shit coming in. So stay tuned to the Sports Valdega. Keep loving, rocking with me and Lacey, supporting the stream. Help keeping us afloat and shit. We love you guys. We appreciate everything. We really, really do. All right, man, about that time. So since I'm going to do this Wednesday, I'm going to do another video Thursday, but it won't be a premiere. It'll be a football video, but it won't be a premiere. 
And then we will do one Sunday uh, mystery football box on opening. That will be a premiere. So, we'll see you guys soon. Fat Casper Mafia! Puff Gang. Pew, 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 pew.